Big news, America. Thanks to your call for common sense change, President Obama has acted to close some of the loopholes in our laws that have let people buy guns without a criminal background check. It's a common sense change that will help keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people and help prevent gun tragedies. How did we get here? In the aftermath of the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary, a bipartisan group of senators got together to introduce legislation to close the loopholes in our gun laws so that many more gun sales would require a criminal background check. Nine in 10 Americans supported it, and it got a majority of votes in the Senate. But a minority of senators filibustered the bill, stopping it in its tracks, exactly what the corporate gun lobby wanted. Americans were outraged. We heard from thousands of you, and the message was clear, keep pushing ahead. So we did, with a plan that we brought to the President of the United States. The idea, which the President just announced, significantly narrows the gaps that let people buy guns with no questions asked at gun shows, online and elsewhere. It does this by saying no matter where you are, if you're in the business of selling firearms, you must conduct background checks on gun sales. It's as simple as it is effective. This is a big deal. Now, by clarifying the definition of who qualifies as a licensed dealer, if you're selling a lot of guns and acting like a dealer, you've got to perform criminal background checks on your potential buyers. Before the president acted, our laws were vague, and that created a problem. For example, if there was a person with a booth full of guns for sale at a gun show, it would certainly seem like that person should be conducting background checks. The loopholes allowed that person to sell guns with no questions asked. Same thing with online sales. A person could sell dozens or hundreds of guns per year over the internet with no criminal background check. President Obama has changed that. With this new policy, people engaged in the business of selling guns are going to have to conduct criminal background checks just like a gun store. Let's say if you're selling a large number of guns, potentially even more than just a couple, or doing things like printing business cards, accepting credit card payments, or selling guns you just bought, you'll have to get licensed as a gun dealer and conduct checks. The administration will also strengthen the background check system to address gaps that allowed a dangerous man to buy a gun and murder nine innocent people in a Charleston, South Carolina church. The expanded background checks policy will help stop dangerous people from buying guns. It will provide police and prosecutors the clarity they need to enforce the law. It will shrink illicit markets for illegal firearms and firearms trafficking. And it will benefit gun owners by leveling the playing field for responsible gun owners and dealers. Gun violence is a complex problem, and we can't prevent every tragedy. But we do know background checks save lives. In states with background checks on all handgun sales, women are 46% less likely to be shot to death by their intimate partners. There are 48% fewer suicides, and law enforcement are 48% less likely to be murdered with a gun. This responsible change to our laws will make our communities safer places to live and protect the rights of law-abiding Americans to buy guns. It's just common sense. With your help, we've achieved this victory for safer communities, and we know that if you are with us, we can bring even more common sense to our nation's gun laws. Go to ResponsibleSolutions.org to find out how you can get involved.